The seventh stop on the Big Easy IGT Challenge Tour campaign took place this past week at Killarney Country Club. Often considered one of the coldest events of the season, temperatures dipped close to freezing in winter, and with a stiff breeze, scoring was tricky. Only 31 rounds of better than par were registered the first two days. Well, Killarney itself is always a tough golf course. It's, it's not long, but it's, you have to position yourself, otherwise you're going to be in trouble and you're going to be fighting the whole week. Um, it was the first two days was Kilani itself. You, you you come to expect what you know, but today with the wind being a completely different direction and it being very cold this morning was a completely different piece today. Kyle Barker had carded the joint lowest round of the day a day earlier and grabbed a two-shot advantage heading into the final round. However, after opening with two straight pars, he surrendered his lead at the third hole with a costly double drop. He also bogeyed the sixth. But birdies on the 8th and 9th softened the blow somewhat. Still with a whole host of golfers hot on his heels, he'd need a better showing on the way in. Jason Smith was applying plenty of pressure to the overnight leader. He dropped a shot on the second hole, but picked up a birdie on the 5th and another on the 11th as he closed the gap to just two shots. Having begun the day four back, he was well in the hunt. When he birdied the 17th hole, he was on five under and tied for the lead, but would he be able to hold on to it? Matthew Spacey was also threatening. A two-time winner already this season on the Big Easy IGT Challenge Tour, Spacey began the day tied third on four under par. He didn't have it all his own way though. He had to work hard to bounce back from a double on the second. He turned in one over, but got back to red numbers on the way in with birdies on the 15th and 16th holes. He tied Smith and Barker on five under. The latter was leaking oil. Not a single birdie on the back nine, but a dropped shot on 13 left his lead in tatters. Barker, Smith and Spacey were all tied on five under through 53 holes, and the title was anyone's for the taking coming down the last. Up ahead, playing in the penultimate group, Smith was lining up a putt on the 18th for par. That would have given him comfortably the low round of the day, but instead he missed. He would post the clubhouse lead on four under par thanks to a 69. Spacey also made a mess of the final hole. A double drop saw him fall out of contention and into solo possession of third place on three under after a one over par 71. Still with another top five to go with two wins, he's enjoying an excellent campaign. Barker also stumbled on 18, needing a par to seal the victory, he could only manage a bogey as he matched Smith on 4 under after a final round 73. The two then headed back down the 18th again for a sudden death playoff. The short par 4 was proving to be particularly tricky. Both players missed the green with their second shots, while Smith's challenge vanished from the sand. He would make a double, while Barker had three putts for the victory. He two putted for bogey to claim the win, his first on the Big Easy IGT Challenge Tour. I feel like it's a good thing um, to still be able to win with so-called a B game because I definitely didn't have my A game this week but my putting definitely saved me and uh, my caddy gave me some great advice on many occasions so it was, it was overall a good week. This result uh, means quite a bit to me. Um, I'm in need of some confidence going into next week at Swaziland on the Sunshine Tour. So, um, yeah, it means a lot, you know, so it's a good thing.